This is where the hunter becomes the hunted. If you're a stalker, you've probably heard about Lyme's disease. You might even know someone who's had it. It can be life-changing. It's a terrible disease, and when you have it uh, one or two years, it influences your whole life. The ticks that carry limes are not just targeting people with rifles. It can be hikers, cyclists, campers, anyone who loves being outside. All aspects of the stalk are dangerous for ticks, really. Today, we want to understand a bit more about ticks and Lyme's disease. We're joining the guys from Rovin's Clothing. Back in 2006, having contracted Lyme's while out stalking, Vincent Janssen started a long journey to develop an effective barrier so he could stalk with confidence. It's not only a problem for a few people, no, it's a problem for all people in the different countries in Europe, because in all those countries we have ticks, in all those countries we have the Lyme disease and the new, new disease, the, the tick-borne encephalitis. Prevention is better than cure, especially with something as unpredictable as Lyme's disease. When it hits the garment, it will directly be disorientated. It won't bite anymore, it can't bite anymore. And that's the way Rovent is very effective. Not only falling off, but immediately when it touches the, the clothing, it can't bite anymore. This morning we're in Oxfordshire on the glorious Cornbury Park estate. Dear manager Tom Marshall is taking Robins's man in the UK, Darren Bullock, out after Muntjac. But these two are left to wander by. How old do you think it will be, Tom? A week at best, I would imagine. It's a rare treat to see the young. Sights like this make getting up early a lot easier. Darren is an engineer by trade and a seasoned stalker. He's also pretty clued up about ticks. Today he's going to tell us a little bit about this beast in the undergrowth and why he got involved with introducing specialist anti-tick clothing into the UK. A colleague of mine, he actually picked a tick, a tick up on the, some of the deer he brought home and his daughter picked up a tick which was quite a concern for us because she was young, too young to have any sort of treatment for any tick-borne diseases. So that made us really think, not only for ourselves but for family and friends, that you might actually put at risk. So that set me looking for a, a solution to the problem. Um, we had some German guys come over that were wearing the clothing. I liked the look of it and I got hold of some myself, started using it, seeing it, the benefits from it. So then I spoke to Vincent about bringing it into the UK. His friend's daughter getting a tick was a wake-up call for Darren. His ground has a high tick burden, but levels vary all over the country. He explains a good way of finding out just how rife they are. What most people do is to walk along with a white sheet on the end of a stick. You basically drag, drag the sheet along. When you get to the end of the patch of ground, you flip the sheet over, and then any of the ticks that have attached to that white sheet are highly visible. Obviously, that gives you a number that you can count, and then you can see how many ticks are in that area. It's a muggy morning with a threat of rain, but it's a beautiful part of the world. One problem we will have today is the height of the grass. The small munchak have good cover. This one appears on the bank above us. Darren tries to get himself into position, but she's off. A bit further on, we spot another. Tom suggests to Darren there might be a chance before she reaches the top of the bank. She's down. It's a nice chest shot, but does she have any ticks? Not this time. She's a healthy looking animal, but it doesn't mean we should be complacent. When the animal's been shot, as soon as the blood stops pumping, any ticks that are on the animal, obviously they feel that their feed's being stopped. So that's when they're looking to get off and join something else. You're the next person that touches that animal, so any ticks that are evacuating the animal are going to look for you straight away. Uh, so yeah, you definitely pick ticks up as soon as the animal is shot. And also back in the larder, when the animal starts cooling down, you see another load of ticks come off it. The ticks that you probably hadn't even seen on the animal. All aspects of the store are dangerous for ticks really. Good result Tom, hard work. Very good. You often hear people say that they didn't spot a tick for a few days that they settle into our nooks and crannies. Darren's heard them all. We find the majority of tick bites are around the waste area. 
they're latching onto the front of your legs or your lower leg. They're crawling up the trouser uh, and then the first place really they can get into the body is in and over the waistband. Although you get them all over, I mean, you know, people have them on the neck, on the back. Uh, they have them in some very, very personal places as well, which is, is very, very common. And if you do find a tick, correct removal is the most important thing. Even though I wear this gear, I'm still always looking on myself for ticks. And I always carry uh, an automatic twister. And if I do find one, which since I've been wearing the Robins gear, I haven't, although that sounds silly, but uh, then obviously that's the method I would use for removal. Back at base, Tom sorts out the munchak. As a deer manager, he knows colleagues who are suffering with tick-borne diseases. Getting tired, whether it be taking a dog for a walk or going stalking, um, and not being able to carry out daily duties like they should be able to. Um, tiredness, weariness, eye problems, blindness, um, all things like that really. The industry is pretty clued up these days. The National Gamekeepers Organisation endorses Robin's clothing. The World Health Organisation has also given it the thumbs up. The clothing may be unpleasant for ticks, but not for us. The permethrin, the product, the substract we use in the product, need to be balanced between bioactivity to ticks, and not only to ticks, but also midges and mosquitoes, and besides the uh, the safety of environment and also your own skin, your own body. So that's a balance and we could only do that uh, due to a fantastic uh, polymer coating. And the polymer coating is the, the way of getting that balance, that norm. Germany has a big tick problem and it's not just the hunting community needing protection. A big forestry commission, natural trust organisations, uh, University of Wageningen, eh, we worked a lot with. We need those organisations for developing our products, but we also help them with protecting them against those ticks. If you want more information about Robins clothing and ticks and Lyme's disease, please visit robins.co.uk. And if you'd like to go stalking on the Cornbury estate, please drop Tom a line via cornburypark.co.uk.